there are only so many hours in the day. So the question is, how do you find the time to be a booktuber? Well, let's talk about it. How to find the time to read books, how to find the time to script and outline, to film, to edit, and to be part of the booktube community. First and foremost, I really feel that you need to love to read. Probably your main pastime. For me, I watch very, very minimal TV, very minimal movies. If I have a spare moment, you can usually find me reading. I guess maybe this is the harsh truth. If you want to start a booktube channel, and you think that starting one will make you want to read more or will kind of push you to read more, it's not going to because on top of the fact that you're going to have to read to have a booktube channel, you're going to also need to do all the other things that come along with it. Do you know how to do this stuff already? Then you're, you know, you're going to be ahead of the game, but there's so much stuff that goes into it and finding the time. Like it's a good chunk of your time and it really is a labor of love. Let's get into it. First thing is like, how do you find the time to read? Life is busy. People have kids, they have a job, there's stuff going on. One of the biggest things like to fit more books in, you could do audiobooks. You can listen to them on your commute to work. You can listen to a book when you are on your lunch break. If you have errands to run, all of that. Also, ebooks are awesome. Having a Kindle or any type of e-reader, take it with you everywhere. If you can't always carry a big chunky book with you, you can probably fit an e-reader. Keep it in your car. Keep it in your purse, throw it in your backpack, and if you have a spare moment, you can read. And that's really going to help you squeeze in some more reading time. And now, you don't have to make three videos a week. First of all, you're probably going to want to decide, you know, how many videos you want to make. You could do one a month. That would be fine, honestly. When I was starting out, I thought I was going to do one video a month. And because I'm an insane person, I do three a week cutting out some of that social media time that you're just sitting there scrolling. That is time you could be spending reading that's gonna be much more quality for you. And you know, you don't have to be a crazy booktuber who reads like 30 books a month. I read between five and on a really good month, I think 12 may have been the most I've read. So it doesn't have to be crazy. You know, you can set your own pace, start small and move up from there. If you start with one a month and you're like, I think I could do two, then do two a month. And then if you can do one a week, do one a week. Form it to fit what you can fit into your life because we all have different levels of busyness. For the other elements that come into play with this and finding the time to do it, you know, you have to script or outline. For me, I usually just do a basic outline. A couple tips and tricks that help me to cut down on some of the time when outlining or scripting a video, since most of it is book related. If I'm reading a book, I have a notebook and I take notes the whole time. And then that's my outline. I don't really do it afterward. If I do have like some thoughts after I finish the book, I write it down like final thoughts. And then that's my outline. I go back and I look at that. Some people might want a more scripted um, element. I do my outline when I read. So that kind of combines the time. As for filming and finding the time to film, I batch record. Batch recording has been the best thing because you sit down, you knock out a bunch of videos, and then when you can squeeze in your time to edit, you got them all there and they're ready to go. I schedule my filming days. I film on Friday and Sunday. No one's here. I have the place to myself. It's quiet. And that's the most important thing too, is you need it to be quiet when you film. You gotta find a couple days or day that you can do your filming. And I break it into two days because sometimes I don't want to film three videos in one day. But batch recording, I promise you, will save you the most time. Next, we have editing. And editing for me is honestly what takes the most time. Editing though, I can be in a noisy environment. So you can basically do your edit editing anywhere. You know, all you need, if you need to cut out some of the noise, pop in some headphones. I schedule that too. I have a planner and I basically block out my whole week for what I'm doing. Yeah, the editing I would say takes me the most time. As well as filming, you need it to be quiet and you probably don't need like kids running around or dogs jumping on your head. I don't know why I said they'd be jumping on their head. You might jump on your head. I don't know. I mean, they want to play. That might be time that you would normally watch television. If it's really important to you, you know, you got to set a precedent for what you want to do. 
And then also importantly too, as being part of the booktube community. Recently, someone I watched on booktube was asking, how do you guys find the time to do all this film, edit, scripts, be part of the community, watch other booktubers videos. Each day I get up and when I have my morning coffee, I spend between 30 minutes to an hour watching booktube videos. Sometimes I just have it on in the background with just the audio and I'll go about and be doing stuff and getting ready. That's become my main thing that I do outside of reading, like I watch booktube. And a few other YouTubers as well outside of the booktube genre. I really think finding the time to be a booktuber you know, that's half the battle. And then the other half is that it's a labor of love. It's something that, you know, try it out, see if you like it. And if you do, you're gonna wanna keep creating more videos. You wanna keep getting better at doing that. You'll get more into the booktube community and find people that you really resonate with that have similar tastes and some that you like that don't have similar tastes. There's some booktubers I watch that I would probably not read half the books they read, but I just really like their persona. You gotta find it and you gotta make the time to do it. If you enjoyed this video today and you like books and weird stuff, poop that like button. Come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff. <laughs>